The fate of the Line 5 pipeline remains uncertain, and fears of a possible shutdown have workers and businesses worried. Fox & Friends First co-host Carly Shimkus is live in Toledo, Ohio, with more. Carly? Rachel, that's right. The fate of the Line 5 pipeline does remain uncertain as Michigan Governor Gretchen Whitmer wants to shut it down. The Biden administration is looking into the environmental impacts of a replacement line. All the while, the hardworking people here in Toledo are worried about what that means for them. Watch. This facility has been operating for 127 years. This is where we bring the raw crude oil in for the initial distillation process here at the facility. So this is where Line 5 connects to the Toledo Refining Company? That's correct. The Line 5 pipeline takes uh, raw crude from Canada and transport it down through the Great Lakes, through the state of Michigan, and down, and there's a spur out here in Ohio. And it delivers 540,000 barrels a day of uh, unrefined crude to the refinery and other places. How many people would be affected if the pipeline were to shut down? We have between our hourly and salary full-time workforce, we run between 600 and 1,200 employees. And the implant study says each one of our jobs supports 16 jobs within the community. So that, that multiplication factor is, is really gets into an astronomical number of people affected. It's what provides for my family. Um, I'm not shy to say that growing up, uh, my family didn't have a lot of money. And uh, me getting this job allows me to provide a better standard of living than, than I had growing up. Governor Whitmer, she wants the pipeline shut down. She feels like there's a section of it that's unsafe and it could create an oil spill. How do you feel about that? I, I don't think, I don't share that same level of risk. This pipeline is very robustly built and it's it's highly unlikely that there'd be an incident with, that, with the pipeline. Yeah, wind, solar, they're great. Uh, Geothermal, they're all great. But it, you can't just get rid of this too. It, it's not. It's not a real thing. It's you know we all want a clean planet. In fact, most of the construction that's happened in this refinery over the last several years has all been about protecting the environment. You say the pipeline shut down would affect your business. How so? Absolutely. I mean, it's really a trickle down effect um, with prices. You know, if they shut that down, one and one we lose jobs. So there's business right there. Shutting down a pipeline. The people in this community and all the other communities between the pipeline and us are looking at it not as a pipeline shutdown, as their lifeline shutdown. That's their life. What does this company mean to your family? Uh, for myself, this company means everything. I've uh, been fortunate enough to live the refinery life uh, as a child with my dad working here for so long. And then now me being here a little over six years, it's uh, afforded me a lot of opportunity for my family. How long have you worked here, sir? Last week I just completed my 31st year. How important is this job that you have to your family? It's a great opportunity for me. Um, I'm a woman, number one, in a job that is typically male. Um, so it shows my daughter that is 13 that women can do just about anything. There is concern that Line 5 is going to be shut down. Um, are you worried about that? Uh, yeah, I'm worried about it a lot. Are you worried? Uh, absolutely. The thought of um, losing my livelihood. If it happens, it, it definitely impacts my family. My standard of living is going to go down. My, my, my daughter's standard of living is going to go down. All my friends that work here at the refinery, their standard of living is going to go down. You, you, you can't replace the jobs that are here like that. President Biden's going to make a decision, and he, I hope that he can look in my eyes and see the pain of the people here and say, well, I'm going to base that decision on people, not on politics. There's just no place for that. Yeah, so the question is, what is going to happen to this pipeline? And the answer is nobody really knows. Canada will be speaking directly to the Biden administration about this. There's also a federal court decision that could shut down this pipeline. And if that happens, Rachel, as you saw, people will lose their jobs and gas prices will go up. Yeah, that's a very cold part of the country. Wisconsin's going to be affected as well. Um, so glad you're doing this reporting. So glad you're there. Wish you'd taken Joe Biden, AOC, and, and Bernie, Bernie Sanders with you on that trip. Thank you, Carly. <laughs> Maybe they saw the report. Let's hope. Let's hope.